Okay, inserting images in, in a Google Doc works approximately the same way as it does in Microsoft Word. In this case, um, let's say that we're going to place a photo here um, at the beginning of the second paragraph of the document. So we put the cursor there, come up to the toolbar and click insert, and then image and upload from computer. And browse our hard drive and pick the image that we want. And there it is. Um, now, this is probably too large um, to look good. So you take, click and drag the uh, corner grab handle there and make it an appropriate size. Um, and then we want text to wrap around it. And so to do that, we would just click this button wrap text. And then we can click and drag the image over to the left hand margin. And you can see the vertical red line appear that helps us know that we have aligned the photo with the left edge. And there it is. Now for an informal uh, essay or document, this is sufficient and fine, looks good. Uh, if you're writing something that's more formal, like a research paper, you're going to need to have a caption for the image. If you have inserted the image the way I just did, by going to insert and then insert image, you're not going to be able to do that. So let's start again, assuming we have a more formal kind of requirement. I'm gonna place the cursor again at the beginning of the second paragraph. I am gonna go again to insert to the toolbar, but instead of clicking insert image, I'm gonna click insert drawing. And in this case, uh, a new, so-called drawing, um, it does not have to be a drawing, it can be the same photograph. So this blank canvas appears over the top of your document. You're gonna click the image button and upload from your hard drive in this case, although you do have other options for acquiring images. And here's the image. Um, I'm gonna drag that over to the very edge so that I can see how many inches that's gonna take up in my document. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna resize it because I know that in a typical paper, you're going to want that image to be at least three and a half, depends on what the image is, but three and a half, maybe three and three quarters inches in width. Okay, uh, once I've gotten the right dimensions, I can put it anywhere I want to on this canvas. It doesn't really make any difference. Now let's talk about how we add the caption. Um, you're going to come up to the toolbar and you're going to click on the text box button. And that will change your cursor to the crosshairs. Bring it here and click and drag the text box out like so. And you're going to uh, then add figure one or whatever number it happens to be, and the title of the image and the what is technically called the caption. Now that clearly exceeds the boundaries of the text box. And the reason for that is because it's at 14 point pitch. And it's also in Arial font instead of the required Times New Roman. So I'm gonna select that, come back up to my toolbar, select Times New Roman. And typically you're gonna set it at 12. I do think that things look better if it's just a little bit smaller, like at about 11. And then I'm going to adjust the size of that text box to hold that caption in place. Uh, you can reposition it, get it just a little closer. Uh, maybe you want it just want the text here right up aligned with the edge of the photo. I would still nevertheless make sure that, the, yeah, exactly, <laughs> make sure that that right hand edge of the text box is aligned with the right edge of the photo. And that's it, that's really all you have to do. Now you just click 
save and close. There's no need to like specify that this is a grouping because it will be automatically grouped after you click save and close. Um, so this will now appear in our document. You'll notice that it, the text is not wrapped, so that's fine. Uh, just click on the image caption combination and choose wrap text. And then you can drag the image over. You'll see the uh, that red line light up. Now, that line is assuming there should be some space on the left. I, I line it up anyway <laughs> with the left edge. So there's a little bit of white space here that hangs over the edge of the margin, but that's okay. And there you have it, uh, image and caption. And if you change the amount of text you have and you have to reposition the photo, you can just click and drag it and the, the caption will go with it. So you don't really have to worry about getting your images and captions separated in Google Docs.